if this price can be used only one time then all we can do is take that quotation create a purchase order and use it but if it can be used for a long time then we can convert that into what's called as a source of supply so like i said we have successfully completed the quotation process and out of that one successful bidder emerged we would accept more than one that's a different story let's just say for simplicity that we have accepted 4003 as a successful bidder now if it's a one time offer meaning he is willing to offer us 100 kilos of coffee at this price you know for 10 days or 5 days or 20 days we could use that quotation and convert that into a po issue the po to the vendor get the goods pay the invoice the process is complete but if the vendor is ready to supply these goods to us on a long term basis meaning forever at that price then we got a win right so out of all these vendors this vendor is supplying the goods to us forever at 8.95 per pound that means we can use this vendor as the source of supply for a long time if we want to test the vendor maybe the quality is good or not we don't know then we can just create a po receive the goods receive the invoice and then check if the coffee tastes good what is the customer feedback so on and so forth and if we like the coffee and of course we like the price then like i said we can convert this quotation if the vendor is ready to supply the goods on a long term basis we can convert this into what's called as a source of supply what's a source of supply a source of supply is just a set of data that we can use again and again to create purchase orders right so whenever we want coffee we can use vendor 4003 and what are the modes in which you maintain the data for 4003 at this price there are three ways primarily in which you can create a source of supply and we have seen all of these sources of supply already the first source of supply is a purchase info record the second source of supply is a contract the third source of supply is a scheduling agreement how do you create this well creating this is no big deal but how do we use them a purchasing info record can be used to create a po right in the purchase info record you set a price of 8.75 or whatever price this vendor has agreed on and when you set that and every time you create a po with this vendor this purchase info record will be used and you get the best price now same thing with the contract using this quotation we can convert that quotation into a contract and any po that you create further can reference this contract and of course you're going to get that price of dollar 875 the best price that was offered now same thing with scheduling agreements you can convert that quotation into a scheduling agreement also so if you know that you're going to require 100 quantity every week you can create a scheduling agreement and the price is going to be 875 because we have created that with reference to this quotation and you don't even need to create pos right when the date is right based on the delivery schedule you get the goods and then you get the goods and invoices at 875 per pound now let's see how we can do them 